Hemagglutination inhibition is a very convenient way of measuring the amount of specific antibody against a virus in serum samples, and it can be done quickly and easily in the laboratory. And it relies on the fact that certain viruses are able to clump red blood cells, as we saw in the hemagglutination assay. As you'll remember from that assay, red cells on their own will fall to the bottom of a tube or a well and produce a button that you can see with the naked eye. But if you mix them first with the, the right sort of virus, we'll, they will clump the virus and prevent it from forming a button at the bottom, but it will form a shield instead. The hemagglutination inhibition assay relies on antibody, specific antibody, preventing that shield formation. And this works as follows. The specific antibodies bind to envelope glycoproteins on the surface of the virus and thereby prevent those envelope glycoproteins from binding to the receptor molecules on the surface of the red blood cells. And so the virus does not cross-link the red blood cells and doesn't form a lattice at the bottom of the tube. But the red cells now are able to fall freely to the bottom of the tube and form a button. So we can turn this into a convenient assay of antibody concentration in a very similar way to the hemagglutination assay you saw before. So we start the same way with a series of round bottom wells containing equal volumes of saline. We then make serial dilutions of the serum samples instead of the virus preparation. The serum samples are serially diluted in the saline solution. After which we add a constant amount of virus, typically four hemagglutinating units of virus, and then we add the red blood cell suspension and allow the components to mix and the red cells to settle to the bottom of the tube. At the end, we note the last well in which a button has formed, and we say that's the end point of the titration. And by looking at the dilution of serum that went into that well, we can describe the titer of the original serum in terms of its ability to neutralize that particular antibody.